Hey guys, it's Fix. Welcome to another edition of Mentoring Monday. Last week, I talked about the inspiration of my new track, Rebirth, that it symbolized me reinventing myself from the business world to the music world. I talked about the first seven out of the 15 steps to reinventing yourself. So quickly, the first seven steps that we talked about are, step one, do you really wanna change? You must want to change in order to change. Step two, wake up early. Not always fun for me. Have a daily process and a daily schedule. Three, prioritize your tasks. Step four, surround yourself with the right people. Step five, keep learning. Never stop learning. Step six, probably one of the most important ones. Find mentors. I cannot emphasize enough how important this will be towards your success. This is mission critical. Step seven, find your passion. It's really hard to be truly great at anything if you're not passionate about it. So today we'll start with step eight. Be honest with yourself and others. If you're not honest, people won't want to help you. They won't want to be around you. Open yourself up to your group of friends and mentors. It's okay to expose your weaknesses and your mistakes. They can help you with it. The more people who know about your weaknesses, the more people that can help you. And besides, honesty and integrity are the foundation for all healthy relationships. Step nine, be firm with your decisions. The only thing worse than making the wrong decision is not making a decision at all. Seek advice from your mentoring group when making your decisions. Don't worry about what people will say on social media. I heard this quote from a very successful football coach, Davo Sweeney. They never paid attention to what other people said unless it was somebody he would seek out for advice. There will always be the naysayers trying to help you fail. So don't pay attention to them. Step 10. Don't be afraid to experience pain. We are creatures of habit. Breaking out of your comfort zone forces you to have new experiences, to meet new people, and to learn something new. So let me talk about pain for a minute. Here's a question you probably never expected today. Have you ever wondered, does the hard shell of a lobster grow when the baby lobster grows into an adult-sized lobster? The answer is no, the shell does not grow. So when the baby lobster starts to grow, they experience pain because the shell is too small. They wedge the shell off their body by using the rock at the bottom of the sea. This process is called molting. It takes about 20 molts for a baby lobster to grow into an adult over about five to seven years. So what's, what does this have to do with your comfort zone and experiencing pain? The moral of the story about the lobster is there's no growth without pain or no pain, no gain. So don't be afraid to experience pain along the way as you learn and you grow. Step 11, manage your finances. Have you ever heard this slogan? There's no romance without the finance. Reinventing yourself is not free. You might need money for the cost of re-educating yourself. I've spent money on travel, music schools, tuitions, to learn mixing and to produce tracks. A rule of thumb is to try to save 20% of your income. Your goal should be to save 12 months of net income as runway. This is your emergency fund. The number one reason businesses fail is they don't properly manage their cash flow. The same is true for personal finances. So step 12. Follow the 24 hour rule. You want to impress someone that you just met at a networking event. Follow up with them within 24 hours. Make this a rule. It's also polite and frees up your time since you are not letting your follow up responses build up over time. It also shows you have a sense of urgency, another very critical quality for success. Step 13, make new lists every day. This helps you organize your day to focus on the issues that are important and urgent. 
rather than items that do not help you achieve your goals. I redo my to-do list every single day. Step 14, take one step at a time. Reinvention is a process that can take years. The law of 10,000 hours says it takes doing something 10,000 hours to be truly world-class. Don't get overwhelmed by the big picture. Focus on small goals and the baby steps it takes to accomplish that particular goal. Over time, the baby steps add up to huge accomplishments. Step 15, accept failing. Do not be afraid to fail. Understand that failing is not permanent. If you take risks and you're constantly learning, you'll fail along the way. Accept responsibility for these failures. Do not blame others. If you accept responsibility, then you're empowering yourself to learn from the failure. Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, failed thousands of times, and he's considered one of the greatest inventors who have ever lived. He learned from his failures. In fact, he said that he never failed once. He just found thousands of ways that did not work. So there you have it. 15 steps towards reinventing yourself. I hope these last two sessions have been helpful. If I can reinvent myself in the second half of my life, you can reinvent yourself too. So this is Big signing off. And remember, remember, what's our topic? It's never too late to reinvent yourself. Cheers.